black widow spiders. The spider that sat down next to little Miss Muffet. Anderson, the spider Silva. Things that strike terror into fear of most people. But today we're going to talk a little bit about Spider Scribe, a visual mapping tool that seems pretty cool. So sit back, relax, and let's do it. Hey everyone, Kevin Oxner here. I train people on how to use visual maps. It's pretty cool stuff and it's fun. I'm also the author of Visual Productivity. And today what we're doing is we're doing a review of Spider Scribe as part of the visual mapping review series. So I'm going to go through, look at it, and I'm going to use Spider Scribe to give you a review of it. Let's look at a couple of things. Let's get right into some of the things that I like about Spider Scribe. One thing is that the controls seem pretty intuitive. You know, they're intuitive, but I would say they're, they're a bit limited. And by that, I mean I can go in and if I hover over something, I can see the little X and I can destroy something. I can delete something like that. There we go. Or I can maybe duplicate it or I can hover over the plus sign and I can draw a relationship between this node and something else, you know, wherever I need to go. So it lets you add connections to different places. The reason why I say it's limited is that I found it a little bit slow adding new information in. Now, what I found is I, I thought if I went over here and I was able to hit this plus button, if I hover over it, then it would just give me a new node, but it doesn't do that. And I can drag and drop and I can do that. So I have to actually click on it, drag down a little bit and it will give me a new node. The other way that I found that I could do it is if I actually go on and click on a node and hit the tab button, there we go, I can have another new node. Good. So. A little bit limited, but you know what? It lets me get everything in, and once I'm done, I'm, I'm able to grab things and pull them and, and move them wherever I think I might want to move them. Uh, something else that I think is really cool, something I like, it's fun, is how these nodes interact. A lot of other programs will lock in child nodes. They'll lock them to the actual parent node, not this one. This one, you can drag and drop things pretty much wherever you want. For instance, if I wanted to grab in this one here, and I can move it around wherever I want, What's even funnier, I guess, or different, is that I can grab the main node and I can move that thing around. So let me grab the spider scribe. I'm gonna grab it and start dragging and dropping. And it's funny because it almost like these long legs coming off this thing. What's neat about it is that I feel like when I drag it like this, it looks like one of those things off of the matrix, you know, those big harvesters, those people harvesters, or, uh, or off of the war of the worlds. But anyway, there you go. You can drag and drop things around and it's fluid, it moves and, that can be either a cool thing or maybe a frustration point. I want to talk about a couple of frustration points. Things that when I'm working with Spider Scribe, I would just go, oh, if only it could be a bit different, or if I could just do a bit more here, it would be better. One of the frustration points, and it's funny because I mentioned it was a neat thing, but it's when I drag things around, like to drag the main idea around, and it moves free because things don't follow it. So I can grab this main idea, I can move it way down here, and it just, it's just weird how everything kind of interacts. And it may be too much. Uh, the other thing that I think is kind of weird is that the screen does, I'm calling it the hokey pokey when you enter new information. So let me go in here. I'm going to just hit the tab. I'm going to go add a new node just below this. Oh, screen moved. Okay. Screen moved. Now I'm going to go through and I'm going to go here again. I'm going to hit tab again. Oh, moved again. Whatever. In any case, it's just, it's a little bit weird and it seems like it moves quite a bit. And I find that when I'm entering a lot of information, it can be a bit distracting for me as far as watching that go. Something else that I'm going to call a frustration point is just, like I mentioned, when you can press tab to enter a child node. I'll go in here, I'll, let me enter a new node here, child node down here. I got a bunch of them going on. But when I do that, when I'm able to hit tab to enter a child node, it makes me think that there should be a way for me to add brother nodes or sibling nodes. I think I should be able to go in here. And I don't know, hit enter or control enter or shift enter and nothing's working. Alt enter, let me try alt enter, nothing. It's not working for me. So I I know there's got to be a way. I'm hoping there's got there's a way. I'm just not sure what it is. What I really think is that just if there was a place, there was a way that there was a big help button, something that I could just say, click here and I'll show you all the shortcuts. And I'm looking around and I don't see it. I want to know exactly what I could do. I, I would like to have a bit more functionality and I don't quite see where I'm supposed to go to get it. So anyway, if it's there, I don't see it. So I'm going to leave it there for now. Now, one thing else that was, I think, a little unusual is that these nodes can be layered on top of each other. That doesn't sound like a big thing, but you know what? You could actually hide some information with other information. I'm going to grab this node. 
and we're going to go up and we're going to go over. And I just hid one note. Now, you can see, I can see there's an arrow here and I can see an arrow is here, but you know what? If I'm here, I'm like, okay, this is the, th the map I'm looking at here. You see, 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 look, look, look. I may not watch this. I may not see this. And so that, to me, I don't know. That one is a bit of a frustration point. That's why I've got it there. I came across this when I was going through and I was adding another note, then another note, then another note. And they started stacking on top of each other. And so I had, eventually, I had about five nodes on top and I had to sit there and go, okay, I've got to drag this one here. Okay, go ahead and move this one here. And you got to keep going down. You're like, oh, okay, that's it. Great, I'll stop. So that was a frustration point for me. Now I want to talk about the features. I'm going to talk about the pricing plan really quickly. The personal version is free and they give you three private maps and that's about normal for what people are doing. They give you three megs of file space, which is pretty tiny as far as these days standards go. It's really just enough to, I think, wet your whistle and give you a chance to see what you can upload and what you can check out. The pro version, five bucks a month, gives you two gigs of file space, uh, unlimited private maps. And so that's really, I think, the next step up. So 60 bucks a year, that's not too bad, five bucks a month. The reason why I'm pointing out these sizes here is that one of the things that SpiderScribe prides himself on is the ability to add different types of content. So you can add a text node, which I've got all text. You can also add files and images and locations and, and actually dates as well, events, so that you can start to add things. You can take the an idea, add a file to it, add an image to show what you did at that event, have a date towards it. Okay, overall impressions. Let me go in here. What I gotta say is it's fun to play with. You know, if you're gonna do this, for sure you're gonna try and grab it. You're gonna it's just cool to watch these things go. I like it. My biggest knock against Spider Scrab, if you gotta call it that, is that for me, it's, it's not structured enough. It just, it's all over the place. And when I'm putting ideas out, I wanna get my ideas out and then I'm gonna organize them. And this is just seems like it's got a little bit of disorganization written all over it. It's cool. And like I mentioned here, it would be neat for showing off a process, right? It's, it's like, here's what we do. Then you go here and you go here and it's on this date and here's a picture of this. That's cool. As far as a productivity tool, I'm not sure if this is gonna be the one to get into this. Also, it needs to be faster. If I'm sitting here and I'm going, okay, I'm gonna enter some ideas really fast. Okay, enter idea one, I'm gonna tab down, new idea. Oh, okay, oh, I messed up, okay. Now I'm gonna have another idea. Okay, I'm gonna go down here, new idea. You can see it just went over it. So now I've got to grab this, drag this down. Oh, I actually want that one down here too. And it's just too slow. What I want to be able to do is go in there and go new idea, bang, enter, new idea, enter, new idea, enter, and just pound a bunch of ideas in there. Building on that as far as faster to use, I'm putting down that it, it needs more shortcuts. There may be more shortcuts. I don't see anything pointing me towards shortcuts and I want to have shortcuts listed here. So if there are, you know, I don't see them. Uh, definitely bigger buttons. When I'm hovering over this, I can see the little X here. I can see this thing as far as the duplicate and delete. And this one down here is the little plus sign. They just, I think they're a little too small to really be able to nail these things properly when you're working with it. That's just my personal opinion. I'm definitely gonna keep my eye on this. I like the idea and it's neat and how it all works together and flows together. It's pretty cool. You can have a 30 day trial of the pro version and the free is unlimited. You know, you get three maps, Try it out, see if it's gonna work for you, for your purposes, and give it a shot. Hey guys, again, my name is Kevin Oxner, and if you enjoyed this video, it would help me a lot if you liked the video. Hey, leave me a comment too, and subscribe if you wanna get more videos like this. If you're interested in going deeper with visual maps, check out Visual Productivity. Just follow along as I walk you through business, personal, and learning topics, step by step. Head over to yourmakingme.com to check it out.